What's up mga kap and welcome to Pinoy Canada Immigration Q&A with Cap Joey and Miss Mel of Ajo International. Ayan mga kap, welcome, welcome to our Q&A live streaming. Ayan kung meron kayong tanong about immigration, please comment it below because this is a Q&A question kasama si Miss Mel of Ajo International. And of course, Bago tayo magsimula mga kap, I just want to invite you to join our Cup Unity. Ayan, so we just launched our very new, our very own new group, the community for AIPP, uh, for Student Pathway, for Caregiver, and OFW. Kung, kung gusto mong sumali dyan, feel free to join. And one of the advantages of joining to this group is you can be invited to a private webinar. Ayan. And of course, mga kap, speaking of webinar, we would like also to invite everyone. This coming June 1, 9 a.m., mga kap, we have a free webinar. Siyempre, kasama natin si Miss Mel about Express Entry. Ayan. So if you want to learn more about Express Entry, paano ba mag-migrate dito as permanent resident through the Express Entry program, join us this free webinar. So this is free mga kap and you maybe magtatanong ka paano po mag join? It's very easy mga kap. Go to the call. If you're watching on YouTube channel, go to the comment section. I already post the link. So just click the link and I will send directly all the links on how to sign up directly to your messages. To your messages. Then if you are watching on our Facebook and mga kap, i-flash ko lang. June 1, 9 a.m. Manila time, kasama po ninyo ako at si Miss Mel ng Adjok International, mga kap. So if you want to learn more about Express Entry, entry I highly recommend to join us. How to join? Go to the comment section on, on YouTube and then click, click the link and I'll send directly all the link to your messenger. So if you are watching on Facebook, same thing. Go to the comment section and click the link. Ayan mga kap. And of course, before we go, before we ask questions, madami ako nakikita mga questions, uh, feel, free, uh, feel free to ask questions because this is the right time to ask questions about Canada immigration because we have Miss Mel of Ajok International, a licensed immigration consultant based po dito sa Canada. So anyway, Mga kap, if you're watching right now on Facebook, go to the comment section, click the link, and I'll send directly all the webinar. Comment below yung mga interested na mag-join. Mag-join sa ating uh, Express Entry free webinar. So if you click the link, mga kap, I'll send the direct link on your messenger. You will see two links. The first one is the webinar, and the second one is the free assessment tool na ibinibigay ni Miss Mel. So, ayan. So, sulit na sulit, no? So, ayan. I just want to shout out Apple Cider. Good morning po. And Paula Bisda. Hi, Cap. God bless. You're watching from Mississauga. Ayan. Kati Tunay, Cap. Jap, Joey, Ma'am Mel. God bless and stay safe always. And of course, we have Christine Centeno watching from Thunder Bay po. Ayan. Christine Centeno. Hello po, sabi niya. And of course, sabi din po ni Cynthia Arellano, a big shout out sa inyo po. Good morning dito at good evening dyan sa inyo, Cup Joy Miss Mel. More blessing to both of you. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat po. And of course, sabi ni Rose Perez, good vibes. Ayan. So ayan mga Cup, just click the link and I'll send directly the link on how to join the free web. And this is a very good thing because syempre we are observing uh, social distance. and Again, we utilize the technology that we have, the internet that we have. So anywhere in the world, and if you're scared going out, you can still learn on how to immigrate here in Canada. You can still pursue your dream of immigrating here in Canada using the technology. That's why we have the webinar. Webinar, ano yung webinar? It's like a seminar online. Webinar. So, yeah. so join us. It's a free webinar. Two or three clicks. Sign up your email and that's it. Wala po kayong babayaran. It's free. Uh, you will learn a lot from an expert. And of course, kasama, kasama po ninyo ako. Ayan, mga, mga kap. And also, 
eh, syempre, ito yung pinaka ano natin, hinahihintay natin is the, uh, the raffle do. Ang mahiwagang ruleta. So ayan mga kap, if you want to join our uh, promo, it's very easy to join here. The very easy. Ano lang nga gagawin po ninyo? Just engage. If you are on YouTube, just engage. Comment all your questions. Kung wala kayong tanong, nanonood lang kayo. Shout out lang, kap. Pa-shout out na lang. So if you do that, mga kap, you can have a valid entry in our ruleta. Ayan. Speaking of ruleta, hindi ko po makontak si Kati Tagtad na nanalo last Saturday. So, Kati Tagtad, if you're watching right now, you won one-on-one -on -one consultation with Miss Mel and hindi ko po makuha ang iyong email. Nasaan ka po, Kati Tagtad? Ayan. So, anyway, mga kap. So, again, madaming nanonood ngayon. Maraming maraming salamat for watching. Before we start to our Q&A question, number one mga kap, join our Pinoy Canada Immigration Forum. So it's a growing community. If you are you want to ask something on our community, join Pinoy Canada Immigration Forum. And of course, we just launched our new Cap Unity. So Cap Unity is like Kapatid Community. Kaya Cap Unity. So join us so we have a Cap Unity for OFW. So these are the people that are working abroad and planning to immigrate here, planning to move here in Canada. This is the group for you, mga kap. And AIP program. So maybe you are interested to, to apply here in Atlantic provinces. AIPP Cup Unity is uh, the group for you. Student Pathway. Maybe you're thinking about to study here in Canada. A uh, Student Pathway Cup Unity also. And of course, we have also the caregiver pathway. Ang mainit na init na discussion, caregiver pathway. So if, you're care, if you are thinking about caregiver, paano ba pumunta sa Canada? Ano bang mga paraan? Ano ba yung mga requirements? So join our group. If you have questions, also this is the right time to join our conversation and join our live streaming. Ayan. And we're also simultaneously live streaming on Ajok International page. Ayan, a big shout out to everyone that are joining in our Ajok International page. Shout out po sa inyo and to our When in Halifax Facebook page and mga kap. So yan, shout out muna po tayo, no? Uh, we have, we have Ruel, hello po, from Philippines. And si Chariza Kai Tapos. Ay tampos ay nanonood sa Facebook watch from Cagayan de Oro po. Ayan sa Pilipinas. Papa D, pa shout out naman sabi ni Papa D. Ayan Papa D, shout out po sa inyo. Maraming 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 salamat Papa D for always joining our live streaming. Ayan, maraming salamat. And we have also watching from eh pwede pa lang sa screen. Nakalimutan ko. Ayan, si Papa D. Shout out po naman dyan, sabi ni Papa D. And of course, si Gina. Hello po ulit. Good evening po sa inyo. And sabi ni Otep, could you please share the link? Ayan, the link is already posted on the comment section, mga ka. So if you're watching on Facebook, pinakaunang comment, click nyo lang yung link. Isa lang yung link din is ako. So click nyo lang. Mamaya-maya ipipin ko po. So ayan, Otep. And of course, we have Call Me Low. I'm excited to learn again. Ayan. Of course, syempre, kasama natin si Miss Mel of Adjok International. Syempre, nagkatanong ka, nasaan na si Miss Mel? Nandyan lang siya. <laughs> Nandyan na. Parating na siya. Tumatakbo pa. <laughs> Ayan. Sabi ni Arnold Ariola, good morning, Cap and Miss Mel. Otep, good evening, Cap and Jay Bird. Sabi niya, smiley lang, pero pasok ka pa rin sa ating mahiwagang ruleta. Ayan. Ganun lang, engage lang kayo. And of course, if you're watching on Facebook, please share it on your friends and lovers because sharing is caring. Ayan, alam ko mga kap, kulang ang inyong gabi kung hindi nyo makikita si Miss Mel. Kaya wag ko nang patatagalin. Miss Mel, asa ang ka na po? Andito lang po daw siya. So ayan, Miss Mel, pasok tayo. Ay, wait lang, pasok Miss Mel. Ayan. Hello. Welcome again, Miss Mel. Kumusta, kumusta? Pinanindigan ko kasi yung last natin live stream, may nag-email sa akin, maganda epekto ng pagligo. Kaya sinigurado ko na itong live stream, mariligo muna ako bago mag-live stream. 
<laughs> ganun po, ganun talaga ibig sabihin ni Smell, talagang nakikinig tayo sa ating mga cup. Ano? <laughs> so, so, we're expecting na sana meron mag sa may mag-comment pa. Medyo pinilit na. Pinilit. Pinilit yung mga nanonood. Baka, baka, baka pwede. Baka, baka pwede naman. Sabi ganun. No? <laughs> Ayan. Sa lahat ng mga cup natin na nanonood ngayon, maraming maraming salamat po. And of course, please join our cup unity. Join our free webinar. Uh, you can easily join. Pinadali po natin yung proseso. Just go to the comment section and click the link. Ganun lang kadali. Paano sumayin ng webinar? Just click the link. Paano mag sumayin ng free 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 assessment to? Just click the link on the comment section. Paano sumali ng roleta? Paano manalo ng one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, with Miss Mel? Pinadali din natin. Just engage in our comment section. Just engage with our live streaming. So ayan Miss Mel, bakbakan na ba tayo? Sabi ko na. Isahan na natin. <laughs> Umpisahan na natin ayan. So sabi ni Lori, shout out to you Rory, Ro, Lori Lee. Ayan, sabi ni Ro, Ro ayan, ayan. Her, her na na lang. Her na na lang. Ayan. Hello po, ask ko lang po kung saan pwedeng makita ang income bracket ng employers na pwede magbigay ng job offer for home child care para sa CG New Pathway, Caregiver New Pathway. Thank you po. Actually, nasa ano siya, nasa Service Canada website. Pero dapat marunong ka rin mag-compute para makita mo kung positive o negative yung answer. Kasi kung negative, kahit na meet ng employer yung income requirement, hindi pa rin sila allowed. Ayan. Thank you, Ms. Mel. And of course, we have also Cynthia Aureliano. Ayan, shout out ko na to. Good evening dyan sa inyo and cap join Ms. Mel. More blessing to both of you. Thank you. We have also yell happy. Bala ko po itry ang AIPP kaso po. Ang kinakabahala ko po ay di, ko po, di po kagandahan ang transcript ko ng college. Dahil medyo natagal po ako nakagraduate. Four years po medtech. Ma-approve kaya ako sa EKA. Actually, yung oh, EKA naman, as long as meron kang college uh, level, ia-assess naman nila yan, regardless kung mababa yung grades, hindi naman yun yung tinitignan nila. Yes. And I think hindi naman talaga totally sa grades, eh. di ba, Miss Mel? Hindi. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we have also, Kati, na-shout out na natin to. Sabi ni Paolo, God bless you watching from Mississauga. Apple Side, good morning. Roel, sabi niya, hello from the Philippines. And of course, sabi ni Gary Moreno, good morning, Cap. Join me, smell more power, and God bless both of you. Ayan. Hello. Pa-shoutout pa -shout -out na lang da, sabi ni Arnold. And hmm. paano mag, sabi ni Yel, happy. Paano ko magkaiba po ng surname namin ng anak ko sa daddy niya po gamit niya at di pa kami kasal? Kukuha pa rin pa akong consent sa father pag mag-process ng PR o kahit wala na kasi no communication no communication na po kami paanong no November 2016. Yes. Kailangan mong kumuha ng consent dun sa biological father para makapunta dito yung bata sa Canada. Otherwise, hindi rin magpo-proceed yung application mo kung hindi mo maipoprocess yan. Ayan. So, of course, we have also, ayan, mga ka-flash ko lang yung aming free webinar this coming June 1 habang nagbabasa tayo ng mga questions para hindi po ninyo makalimutan. So, there's a free webinar on June 1 about Express Entry. Sabi ni Job, Ate Bibi, ayan, Ate Bibi, hello daw po sa lahat. Hi! Hi, Ate. Sabi ni, from, fresh from Manila, ayan. Sabi ni Charissa K. Tampos, eto, antay namin ang renew, ah, Antay namin ang new caregiver pathway. Ayan. Actually, hindi siya nag-close. So, kung kompleto naman ang requirements, submit it. Ayan. So, sabi ni Toby, good morning po. Watching from our Facebook. Gracie M. Moreno, ask ko lang po, may chance ba ma-PR after one year finished schooling? Dito po ba yan sa Canada? Ayan. Gracie, pakisagot lang natin sa comment section. We have also Ruel Re Colado. Hi, ma'am. What's the best pathway or fastest pathway to immigrate in Canada? 
the best pathway is express entry. Basta na-meet mo lang yung desired na score. So, yun yung pinakamaganda dahil pag land mo ng Canada, permanent resident ka kagad. So, kagandahan, meron tayong webinar ng Express Entry. So, join our Express Entry para mas maintindihan nyo ano ba yung Express Entry. Express Entry lang bang dapat kong tutukan or mag-isip or mag-explore uh, din akong other program ng Canada. So, yun. So, thank you very much, Ms. Mao. We have Cherry Ramoso pa shout out watching from Malaysia. Hello, ate. Yan. Dami ha, ang dami na nanonood ha. Talagang all over the world, mga kap. Thank you po. Yan, sabi ni Marlon, hi kap, Joey at Ma'am Mel, watching from Riyadh, PSA. Dito is po sa Rural Northern Program. Um, ang Rural Northern Program is meron lang siyang selected na community. So, so kung halimbawa meron, meron kang employer uh, na parte siya ng community na yun, then pwede ka nilang tulungan under RMIT. Ayan. Thank you, Ms. Mel. And of course, so well, wala ako. Ayan, sabi, ni, sabi ni Charissa, kudos po pa, pala doon sa Q&A ninyo with Sir Jan Tigno at Ms. Mel. We learn so much at mas naging wider yung idea namin sa new caregiver pathway. Kudos po. Ayan. Thank you po sa magandang feedback nyo po. Yes, maraming maraming salamat. And of course, ang walang paltos at hindi uma-absent sa ating live, si, uh, live streaming, si Scarlett Singh. Actually, mas nangyay ako kasi tawag doon si Ate Scarlett. Lagi pa siyang <laughs> nauuna sa akin dumating. <laughs> Kung nakakapag-private message nga ito, sasabihin niya, grabe na naman ang ablid mo sa uh, Cap Joey, ah, kasi mukhang late siya. <laughs> Nagpaalam naman ako nung marilate ako. Oh, Pinaghandaan ko naman po yung adlib ko naman. Nakita niyo naman, may, may PowerPoint presentation, di ba? So may ganun, no? <laughs> Napatalo mo may request. Ha? Mag-tiktok ka habang wala pa ako. So, habang wala, yung sila adlib, magkakanta na lang po ako. Gusto niya ba yun? Nay, joke lang. So sabi, sabi ni Joel Aragon, Lindyo, Diyos maray na agal kami. Nasa FB, nanonood kasama din po ang Kasama din po ba sa ruleta? Yes po, ganun lang kadali. If you engage in our Facebook or YouTube, kasama po kayo sa ating mahiwagang ruleta. Ayan. So engage lang po kayo, just comment below. And it's better to share this live streaming kasi sharing is caring. Sabi ni Gina, looking fresh, Miss Mel. Yes, bago ligo na po. <laughs> Para sa tao niyan, nag-ano lang, nagwisik-wisik lang ako. <laughs> Para magising lang yung diwa ko. <laughs> ano po talaga yun? Kunyari lang yan. Kunyari lang. Ano lang? Uh, camera lang naman. Sabi ka nun, no? <laughs> Ayan po kasi ang turo sa akin ni Joby. Ah. Sa akin po yun natutunan eh. <laughs> hey, wala na sikreto. Nasa, nasabi na natin sa live. Sabi, <laughs> eh, sabi ni Charisse Malik, Nas, hello, asking about the result of my ECA from West. The Canadian equivalency is secondary school diploma and one year post-secondary study. Is this acceptable for caregiver? This is a very good question, Ms. Mel. Pasok pa sa caregiver? Yes, dahil meron siyang one year post-secondary education in Canada. So yes, yes na yes. Ayan. Kasi nakakalito din yung kanilang wording eh. Pagdating Correct. sa mga result, minsan may makikita ka na approximately secondary education. So minsan kung hindi mo talaga iintindihin yung result, medyo malabo. Correct. Ayan. So Charis, good news, no? Ikaw ba yung applicant? Yan, apply na. Apply, apply. Grace Moreno, good morning, Cap. Joey, Miss Mel, more power and God bless. Thank you po. Bas, sabi ni Scarlett Singh, basta pag nanalo po ako, alam nyo na ang prime nyo ko. Ayan. <laughs> basta anuhin mo mo dahil yung height requirements kasi... <laughs> <laughs> Ayan, yung high, requir high requirements daw. Rowel Culliado, hi Ma'am Mel, what is the best pathway for me at paano ninyo Poko matutulungan, ma'am. 
depende po yan kung ano yung background niyo kasi doon yan magfa-follow kung ano yung usual kung ano yung tinapos niyo at kung ano yung trabaho niyo po. Ayan. Thank you Miss Mel. We have also Roel. Ayan na ba? Nabasa ko na. Charis may maniknas. I'm confused about the remarks which is not comparable to completed Canadian education credential. Yes, ano mga sinasabi ko na nakakalito pagdating do sa result nila. Eh. Correct. So ayan of course sabi naman ni Robert, good morning Cap and Miss Mel. Ayan, good morning, good morning po sa inyo. Uh, Ray Anthony, good times Cap, Joey, Miss Mel. Ayan. Okay. And any statement from Filipino community regarding name Calvis ungrateful comments about the government? Call me new. Magko-comment ba tayo dito Miss Mel? Ako may sasabihin ako. Okay. Let's just move on. <laughs> Wala na tayo na nagawa. Name is name. We have all personal um, yes. object. Ay, kumbaga may kanya-kanya tayong reaction do sa kanya nga, no? Pero isa lang masasabi ko. Lahat kailangan natin mag-move on. It's too much. <laughs> yeah. a- a- ako naman, for me naman, eh, sabi ko nga, uh, it's hard to give feedback. Although naba- na- nabasa at narinig ko, It's hard for me to comment, especially uh, kasi sabi ko nga, good vibes lang. Yes. Ayan. Anyway, thank you very much. Call me. Negative. Huwag na natin ni ano. Oo, huwag na natin. Dito lang tayo sa good vibes. Yung uh, push lang tayo. Push lang tayo mga kap sa ating dreams. And of course, be grateful. <laughs> Nakakapangit yung negative vibes eh. Totoo. Totoo. And at the same time, be thankful. Yun lang gusto kong sabihin. Be thankful for everything. And of course, Anthony Glenn, Hi po, Miss Mel. Willing po kami. Sana maka-avail ng free assessment. Thank you po. And thank you po. So it's very easy, mga kap. You're watching on Facebook. Just go to the very end or first comment. Nandun po yung link. Pero in a while lang po, gagawin kong pin para mga daling mahanap. I-screenshot ko yung sinabi ng ating card. Ito na naman tayo eh. <laughs> Ayan. Sabi <laughs> Para may ebidensya. Ito, sabi niya. Sabi ko, hindi ko na sana ipapakita sa screen, pero sige na. Blooming Miss Mel. Pidicture ko talaga kasi ipapos ko sa Facebook. <laughs> ganun lang po kababaw. Ganun lang kababaw na mapapasayin niyo na si Mel. So, kung ibig sabihin mga kap, if gusto niyo pasayin, pag-goodbye sa comment daw. Pag-goodbye sa comment. <laughs> ay, ay. Ay, anyway, sabi ni Jane, Good evening po sa inyo, student pa ako dito sa Australia. Madali lang po ba mag-apply ng tourist visa going to Canada? Holding Philippine passport, thank you. Madali ba, Miss Mel, mag-apply? Depende kasi yan sa mga nag a eh. Pero kung halimbawa, estudyante ka sa Australia at pupunta ka ng Canada dahil gusto mo lang talaga mag-tourist, meron kang enough na pera, meron kang enough na evidence na aalis ka ulit ng Canada, Um, pagka natapos mo na yung intended mo na stay dito, then bakit hindi? Mm-hmm. Ayan. Thank you, Miss uh, Jane. And of course, Miss Mel Anthony, from Kuwait po kami mag-asawa with kids. Gusto po sana makapunta dyan sa Canada. Sana po magkita-kita po tayo soon. Correct, correct. So ayan, it's very important. I, I know mga kap, this is the common question. Gusto kong pumunta ng Canada but I don't know where to start. And my best advice is attend our free webinar because from the webinar, you will gain a lot of information. Not just an information but a reliable information because we have Miss Mel of Ajok Inter. Grabe yun, Miss Mel, ha? Hindi lang blooming yun, ha? Talagang ano yun? Level. Yes, may ganun na. <laughs> Ayan. Good AM po. Open na po ba mag-apply MPNP? Actually, hindi naman po sila nag-close. Yun. So, yun. Kung tuloy-tuloy lang. Mayroong delay, mga ka, because of the COVID, pero hindi po nag-close. And of course, um, I wanna be. Hi! May pathway po ba diyan if ang background is a tech customer service support? Then, did, did night audit and reception for hotel? If yes, what would be the recommended process and possible opportunities? Number one is you need to find an employer para makapagbigay sa'yo ng LMIA so you can come in Canada under the working permit. 
So, depende yan kung sa ang province ka pwede uh, makakapunta. Then, doon magpa-follow kung anong pathway ang permanent resident na pwede mong gawin. Mas mataas yung chance noong night audit or reception sa hotel kesa sa CSA. Eh, Ms. Mel, thank you very much, Ms. Mel. Um, gusto ko lang, Ms. Mel, mag-interday uh, sa mga questions sa Ajok International Facebook page. We have Gian Carla Perez Balinya. Hi po, ask ko lang po, if one year, if if after ng one year program, pwede lang po ba mag-work while waiting for the start ng second program? Ano yung tanong? Ulitin mo. Sorry. I ask ko lang po, if after ng one year program, pwede lang po ba mag-work while waiting for the start ng second program? Nalito din nga ako. Meron ka ng enough na status nun eh. Mm-hmm. Kung, si Bisi may nagtrabaho, may one year program siya, habang naghihintay siya ng second program, pwede siya magtrabaho, Miss Mel? Actually, depende yun. Kasi kung halimbawa, hawak niya na yung visa at nagaantay na lang siya na mag-start yung school, then... Ayan. <laughs> then... O pwede siyang magtrabaho. Pero kung halimbawa, uh, wala pa yung bagong visa o yung extension, then hindi pa. Ayan. Sabi ni Kuya Al, <clears throat> hindi na siya manunood ng live kasi hindi daw binabasa natin yung ating comment. Ang sa kanyang comment. Miss Mel, ano ah, yung ba ang ala parkos? Ano yung ibig sabihin nun eh? <laughs> Pero, Kuya Al talaga, pagkapagkain ako talaga eh. <laughs> <laughs> ikaw, ikaw talaga ang ano, ikaw talaga yung ano pinupuntirya no. So, I, thank you, thank you so much. Na <laughs> alam na. At isa po tama dito sa Halifax, alam mo na kung sino ang lalapitan mo. Si Kuya Alion. Ayun, sabi ni Gina, eh doon naman di print screen mo na naman to. Looking fresh Miss Mel. Sarap makinig kapag masaya ang mag- nagtuturo. Keep up and God bless sa tandem ninyo. Ayun. Thank you po. Nagising kagad yung diwa ko eh, doon sinabi nila. <laughs> <laughs> dalawa, dalawa na dalawa na lang sabi <laughs> pero on the bright side mga kap ting, ano yan ha? busy schedule ni mismo because uh, office hours the whole day and ngayon gabi na sa, sa um, Alberta kaya yan nandito pa rin huwag sa akin ni Joey huwag ako sasali sa live stream nang hindi ako naligo Mm-hmm. Hindi, sabi ko, huwag ka sakali sa lansing na gutom ka. Sabi ka nila. <laughs> Malang epekto nun eh. Mas, mas iba po epekto pag well, hindi nakakain si Miss Mel. So, ayun, sabi ni Joel, Cap Joel, Miss Mel, ano pa ang pinagkakaiba ng proof of funds at settlement plan papunta ng Canada? This is a very good question, Miss Mel. Kasi yung proof of funds at settlement plan looks like it's the same, di ba? Ano ba talaga ang pagkakaiba nito? Proof of funds is equal to pera. So, dapat meron kang enough na pera sa banko. Settle pl- uh, settlement plan, usually ginagamit yan for provincial nominee program. So, dapat alam mo kung ano yung gagawin mo sa Canada once na makapasok ka. So, that includes yung mga, di ba kung makuha kayo ng letter from YMCA? Mm-hmm. Kasi may mga tumutulong na mga company rin para makapag-settle kayo and also include the proof of funds. Ayan. So, sa proof of funds, mga kap, um, it depends on the program, pero sa express entry at yung AIPP, may malaking difference lang. Yes. So, yun. Sobrang di- laki ng difference. Kasi ang apat sa express entry, iabutin ang apat na miyembro, dalawang anak at kayong mag-asawa, inaabot around 23 to 24,000. Whereas, sa AIPP, naglalaro sa mga 4 to 5,000. Malaki yung difference. So, yun. Anyway, mga kap, join us on the webinar. You will learn a lot from the webinar. Um, it's very easy to join. Just click the link on the chat box. Thank you very much. Uh, we have Avi Chris watch, uh, watching from Jensen. I'm Harold Dennis D. Thomas with Pearly Balili in Japan. Ayan. Shout out po sa iyo. And of course, Rowell. Hi, ma'am. Men, eto na rin po ang webinar ni Sir John Tigno. Thanks po. Meron din pong webinar for Sir John. Yeah. Um, if you want to know the schedule of the webinar, Miss uh, Sir, Miss John, Sir John, just go to the Jantigno community um, 
meron dun mga schedule. Pero yung schedule natin is we have on June 1, express entry. Ayan. Feel free to join sa mga schedule webinar po natin. We have also Robert Millares Mareñas from Tractor Operator po ako sa Qatar at Sudan. I'm 50 years old now. Pwede po ba sa program ng Food Agri or AIPP or Express Entry? Thank you. I discourage Express Entry pagka ganito yung sitwasyon mm -hmm. because of the age. Pero syempre, depende pa rin naman yan. Pero yung farm tractor operator, I just don't know kung parte siya ng skill. Mukhang hindi. So, hindi siya mag-qualify into Express Entry. With Food Agri and AIPP, those two, kailangan nyo po ng employer. Ayan. So, thank you, Ms. Mel. Uh, thank you, Robert. Robert, thank you for joining. This is, I think, this is my first time na makita ko pa nga. Maraming maraming salamat for joining. Um, call me, Lou. Any statement from... Okay na to. Hello, Actually, Pinagdag, which I is dapat natin sagutin. Okay. Any statement from Filipino community regarding named Calves and grateful comments about government? Do you think this will create an... Oh, this is a very good... Sorry, uh, call me. Iskip ko na sana. Do you think this will create a negative impact to the immigration process? Miss Mel. First and foremost, hindi po pwedeng magkaroon ng negative impact just because may ginawa ang isang kam kababayan natin. Never pong gagawin niya ng Canada because that's part of discrimination. To be honest, Mas mataas pa ang discrimination natin sa Pilipinas kumpara mo dito. Dito sa Canada, they are very um, caring when it comes sa mga tao. So kung yan magkakaroon ng negative impact, totally 100% hindi po. So dapat hindi kayo matakot. Correct. Totoo po yan. Um, it, syempre, of course, alamdaan po natin, ng immigration is always based from the CRS score and always based dun sa job in demand. Yes. Diba? So, hindi po yun magbabase dahil sinabi sa sitwasyon na yun, nagkaroon, sabi na natin, nagkaroon ng issue, nagkaroon ng negative impact, sabi na natin, no? Hindi po yung magkakaroon sa immigration because it always goes with the CRS score, uh, with the point system and the job offer. If you have a job offer, hindi siya magiging rason. Or maybe you're thinking about student, mag-aaral ka, hindi yun mga kapekto. Kasi... May susunod tayong batas. Yeah. Ang that. pag no, meron silang pinafollow na batas. Mm -hmm. So regardless kung ano man yung mga nasa labas o yung pwedeng maka-apekto, hindi po pwedeng mag-pay sila doon dahil lang doon sa mga nangyayari. Never pong gagawin ng government yan at never na iisipin ng government na ganyan ang gagawin. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ms. Well. Actually, nag-plan ako mag-gumawa ng reaction video about that. Pero sabi ko, wag na. Kasi naawa din ako. At the same time, ayoko ng negative. So, ah, hindi na ito ako yung iba niyang video eh. So, kung mm -hmm. babasahin mo rin naman lahat, kahit pa paano, makakaroon mo rin kung bakit, saan siya nang gagaling. Yep. Pero, minsan kasi, ang personality ng tao, medyo iba-iba yung pagtanggap natin. Kung baga, it doesn't justify sa one minute na video o one minute na interview, to be honest. Ito po yun. Um, Kung titingnan talaga yung manuscript or yung letter, mas maiintindihan po ninyo kung paano niya. Iba yun kasi yung impact ng pagka-deliver, pero yung manuscript, yung, I mean yung papel na sinula, yung interview, uh, naiintindihan ko yung point niya, yung pagka-deliver lang. But anyway, let's go to the Q&A questions. Pero in the bottom line is, hindi maapektuhan. As mentioned by Ms. Melb, meron bata sa sinusunod ang Canada and they're very strict with us ruling. Hindi po nangyayari karoon ng issue, ma lahat ng Pilipino, hindi na makakapasok. Hindi po yan mangyayari. Ayan. So, ayan, we have also J. Bert Andang. Hello po, ask ko lang po. Naka-one year, naka year po kasi ako ng low course. Pwede po ba yung isali sa ECA or any undergrad lang po? Thanks. Yung undergrad lang ang kanilang i-assess. Ayan, thank you, Ms. Mel. Thank you, J. Perly Balili, sir, ano po pa ang requirements ng pathway? Ano bang requirements ng pathway ng caregiver? Mayroon po limang requirements. Number one is English exam. 
So, kailangan maipasa mo yon. Second is ECA. Dapat ang equivalent sa Canada is one year post-secondary. Nang number three is dapat meron kang training or experience na related sa caregiver program. Number four is kailangan mo ng employer. Number five is para mag-proceed lahat ng application mo for permanent resident, which is magagawa mo siya later on is yung 24 months working experience inside Canada para makomplete ang permanent. So, yung first step, kailangan mamit mo yung apat. And then, once na nakarating ka ng Canada, i-fulfill yung panglima, then mag magkocomplete na po yung application for permanent resident. Ayan, maraming salamat, Ms. Mel. And of course, we have questions from Mark Tile. Ayan, Mark Tile, welcome back. Hello, Cup Joey and Ms. Mel. Good morning. As ko lang kung paano po ang magiging outcome ng two years diploma in midwifery sa West. Kasi po, hindi nila evaluate yung advanced diploma interior designer. Thanks po. Medyo mababa magbigay ang West ng score. Eh. So, technically, um, po pwedeng high school or one year post secondary pero kung gusto mong makasure na one year post secondary ang makuha mo try the other assessor yan ano may mga mismo mga iba pang assessor meron tayong iQuas which is located in Alberta meron tayong ICES ICAS at saka CES <laughs> the same lang eh no zero <laughs> ganun lang no Nova Scotia na tayo kasi mura ang lobster ayan kung may yeah, Kinutsaba ako na si Kuya Al. <laughs> Alam niyo po ba na napakasarap po ng lobster? Yun, wala lang. Masarap. Actually, nung pumunta ako dyan last year, talagang literal, may dala kami ng asawa ko ng dalawang cooler pabalik ng Edmonton. At lahat ng mga bisita namin sa bahay, isa-isa lang ang binibigay ko. Pero iba kasi yung lasa niya kumpara mo yung nabibili na namin dito. Correct. Pero ako lang kasi, masarap yung love share kasi luto, luto ni Kuya Al. Sana Kuya Al, pagpunta ko dyan ha. <laughs> May love share ka na. May love share ka na. Ganun ka ba it si Kuya Al? May love share ka na, nilutuan ka pa. Ganun. Sana may to go pa. <laughs> may to go pa. Tatlong love share ang to go. Ganun siya. <laughs> Ayan, sabi ni Apple Saturday, hello po. Okay lang po ba ECA ko is past pero from non-recognized institution, apply ako ng EITP for immigrant? Medyo ano lang yung ano ibig sabihin ng non-recognized institution na nakalagay doon sa iyong ECA. Mm -hmm. Ayan, thank you Apple Cider. We have also Lowell Espinosa. Hi po Cap Joy mismo. Tatanong ko lang po, nag-accept po ba ng WES ng online application? online application for ECA. May nag-vlog po kasi sabi niya pwede daw po. Totoo po ba yun? Actually, pangalawang beses ko na siyang naririnig na tumatanggap daw ang West ngayon ng online application na scan. Mm -hmm. Pero just kasi very unusual yun eh. Kasi paano na yun na verify kung totoo yung transcript o hindi. So, ang tanging suggestion ko lang, contact directly yung West Company. Kasi sila ang makakasagot niyan kung papayag sila ng online application at saka online sub submission yung TOR. Correct. And another one, I, I think I already searched that one. Uh, hindi ko lang talaga sigurado kasi pag pinipili ko yung Canada, walang option doon na mag-upload. Kasi nagumawa ko ng account eh. Kasi plano kong gumawa ng video niyan. Hindi, walang option doon sa paggawa ko ng account ng online application. Pero I'll try to do more research and do a video about it. Thank you very much, um, Man, uh, Luella, for these questions. And Angie, and I think that's, that's the best question. If you're in doubt, go mismo doon sa organization. If you, sa tingin mo, totoo ba to? Go to the West. May customer service doon. Then try to call the 1-800 numbers, di ba? Yes. Angie Alguena Borke. Hello, Kapi mismo. Gandang gabi po sa lahat. Ayan. Akala ko sabi niya, ganda ko ngayon. <laughs> Baka po mali yung pagkabasa ko, pero tama naman. Magandang gabi lang daw talaga. <laughs> Baka lang naman. Baka lang, naman. Sabi ni Grace, yes, they're in Canada after one 
One year schooling, may chance po bang PR? Thank you. Yes po, meron pong chance na ma-permanent resident kayo. Depende lang din yan, syempre, kung saan, nyo, saan kayo nag-aral. Kasi kung halimbawa, private school yan at wala kayong po second uh, PGWP, then medyo challenging lang. Pero kung, meron, kung naayos naman lahat yung plano, merong employer, then it's always may chance ma-permanent resident. Ayan. Thank you, Ms. Mel. And of course, habang tayo nagsasalita, gusto ko lang ipakita ang mahiwagang ruleta. So it's a talent, mga kap, na habang nagsasalita, nang, nagka-copy-paste ng inyong mga pangalan sa mahiwagang ruleta. Ayan. Yung mga sa Facebook, hindi pa. So hintay-hintay lang po tayo. We have Jenny, Jenny Lynn Santos. Pwede po bang credit consolidation kahit nag-process ang PR? Actually, maganda yung tanong about credit consolidation eh. Pero may suggestion ako kasi mas mag mas ano siya sa ano eh, sa isang group, yung group ng is um Settled East Coast. East Coast. Kasi nandoon si Kuya Donic. Yes. Mas i-explain ni Kuya Donic ang credit consolidation, pero ang permanent resident walang kinalaman ang credit consolidation. Pero if you want to know more about credit consolidation, I strongly suggest manood kayo noong Settled East Coast. Ayan. East Coast Filipino. East Coast Filipino. Ay, mali pala ako. <laughs> Sino <laughs> yun? Dahil joke lang. Yung Settle East Coast po is a Facebook group. If you're coming here in Nova Scotia or Halifax, kailangan nyo pong someone na matutulong sa inyo to settle here, uh, join Settle East Coast Filipino, uh, Settle East Coast uh, by East Coast Filipino Portal. So, organize po yan ng East Coast Filipino Portal. Kasama po ako doon, si Kuya Donic, si Kuya Al, and of course, si Koji. Si Kuya Donic po ang ating uh, pwedeng makatulong with regards to your question. Uh, sige, tanong natin yan. Uh, try kong i-forward yung concern mo, Jeneline Santos. Maraming salamat for your questions. Uh, Clarissa T. K. K. Tampos, under po sa caregiver pathway mismo, yung work experience is elementary teacher na two or three years. Okay po yun? Yung duration, Okay. Yung responsibility ng elementary teacher, tignan nyo po muna mabuti kung yung job offer nyo dito, ginagawa nyo yung 90% ng trabaho. Mm -hmm. So, yun. Thank you, Ms. Mel. Uh, yun, narinig na naman natin yung 90%. Dapat yung job offer ninyo, tapos yung work experience mo ay nagmamatch 90%. Ayan. Yun yung mga keyword. Gusto lang natin mga keyword para madali matandaan eh. Ayan, okay. sabi Yes, yung profile ni Kuya Grayson kanina ko pa tinitignan kung mukhang masarap eh. <laughs> parang ano to, parang nagano siya ng mga pagka pagkain. Tapos salmon yata to eh. Yung profile picture. Nagugutom. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan, Grayson Kitchen. Hello, Captain Ma'am Ameli. Ameli, yan. I am PR currently working and stuck here in Saudi Arabia since May 2016. Uh, my PR card expired on March 2021. Papasukin pa ba ako in case babalik bago mag-expire card ko? Thank you. Actually, kung nakuha mo yan ng 2016 ang permanent resident, hindi mo na meet yung um, residency requirement. Mm -hmm. So medyo alanganin yung iyong balik kung dapat makabalik ka na agad ng Canada. Mm -hmm. Kasi Ms. Mel, kapag permanent residence ka, kailangan mo magstay sa loob ng Canada ilang taon? Actually, ang uh, computation niyan is 3 out of 5. 3 out of 5. So, so, five years, but... yeah. so kung halimbawa, um, gusto mo lumabas ng Canada, um, pwede naman yun na 6 months kang nasa loob ng Canada, tapos nalabas ka ulit for a few months, then papasok ka ulit ng Canada, po pwede yun. Huwag, lang, huwag, huwag ka lang mag stay sa labas ng Canada nung out of three years. Mm -hmm. So yun. Sayang naman. Sayang naman. Ayan. Uh, if ever you have question, please connect with Miss Mel at baka makat, makat, matulungan ka ni Miss Mel din. And I think that the, the best way to message Miss Mel is go to the Facebook page. It's Adjok International or visit Miss Mo website, it's adjokinternational.ca. Ayan mga kap, you can easily message Miss Mel through the chat. Go to the website, adjokinternational.ca. We have also Toby. 
Which is better chance po uh, sakali, AIPP or AINP? Thank you po. From Qatar. Ang AINP, depende yan kung na-meet mo yung requirement. Ang AIPP, mas madali-dali ang requirement nila kasi hindi mo kailangan na um, pwede kang pumunta ng Canada under the AIPP derecho as long as meron kang job offer. Ang AINP kasi meron niyang minsan requirement na kailangan mong makapag-stay o makapag-work muna sa Alberta bago ka makapag-apply ng AINP namin. Ayan. Thank you, Ms. Ma'am. And we, call, we have also Alon Kalyanta. Hi, Ms. Mel and Cap. Joey, once matapos ang student permit and nag-apply na ang PGWP, paano na po ang mga dependent? Need ba mag-leave ng Canada or, abo ang, or ano po ang options para ma-regulate ma stay nila? Dapat ikaw na naka-student, makahanap ka ng trabaho under the skilled category. So kapag ka-skilled category yung iyong napasok na trabaho, pwedeng mag-apply ng extension ang iyong family members. Mm -hmm. Ayan. So what if, Miss Mel, worst to worst scenario, nag-aral, may kasamang dependent, hindi nakapaghanap ng skilled uh, work permit or na, na, hindi nakapaghanap ng trabaho, anong possible na mangyari? kailangan mo lumabas ng Canada. So, ayan. So, your key, Alon, is to make sure na makapaghanap ka ng trabaho. Ayan. Thank you, Miss Mel. We have G. Vanguardia. Hello, Cap, Mel, Cap and Ma'am Mel. Have a nice day. Ayan. Al RV Nice Loro. Ayan. Ay, Nika Loro. Ayan, tinag niya. Tinag. Tinag niya si, ano, si Nika. Nika, manood ka na nga. Sabi ni Edo C. Cap, Joey, Ma'am Mel, i-follow up ko lang po dito yung post ko sa group about sa English test na expire. Isama ko rin po yung medical at PCC and NBI na pa-expire na rin while PR application is on progress. PNP ng EE kasi kaya possible na abutan. Paano ba po yun? Magre-retake po ba ng English test? Kasi para sa ibang PR application, nare-refuse kasi expire na yung English test at bumababa ang points. Thanks and God bless. Since non-EE siya, hindi naman siya pointing system. Yun. So, yung English exam, minsan um, kinoconsider doon nila yan na, na lalak in period. Uh, yung PCI, yung NDI, yung police clearance at saka yung medical, Um, kapag ka more than one year na yung medical, uulitin mo ulit yan. NBI, kapag ka nagpasa ka hagat, um, depende sa officer, minsan nagre-request ulit sila ng panibago. Pero wag mo mo naasikasuhin hanggat walang request para hindi, hindi rin sayang. Correct. Thank you, Ms. Mel. And thank you, Edu. And we have Arvin. Tinag niya ng mga katropa niya. Good morning, Sir Joey and Ms. Mel. Sabi ni Arvin. And of course, we have Car Cash Hirent Amandak. Hello po from CDO. First time to watch your live stream. Ask ko po sana ako, ano po ang required work experience ng mga caregiver pathway? I'm a grade school teacher for two years. So yung duration ng iyong current work, it's already fine. Pero yung grade school teacher, tingnan nyo po muna yung responsibility nyo kung namimit nyo yung caregiver na responsibility dito sa loob ng Canada. May chance ba sila, Ms. Mel, yung mga teacher sa Pilipinas na makapag-apply ng caregiver pathway? Depende yan. Previously, yung dating pathway, po pwede. Pero mm -hmm. ngayon, very particular sila when it comes to job responsibility. So the, the, the key is to make sure, yung sabi nga natin, the key is 90% ng job description na ina-applyan mo ay pasok din yung work experience mo. Yes. So, yeah. Medyo ano, tricky, pero madali lang tandaan eh, 90%. Kung may 10 doon nakalista, dapat 9. Wala lang. <laughs> Matalino ka talaga sa mga. <laughs> Slow clap for me. <laughs> Wala na requirements needed for work permit. Sabi ni Darn, passing working permit, is it through LMIA or through employer or is that an open work permit po? Ayan. And good news. Good news for you because we just finished the work permit series. So I highly recommend uh, SIPNIA, SIPNIA 
to watch the work permit series kasi kasama ko doon si Miss Med, hinati-hati ko yung information para hindi masyado overwhelming for you. So I highly recommend mga kap to watch the work permit series para meron kayong idea. And next on our schedule is to do a caregiver pathway series. Kasama ulit si Miss Med yan. Ayan. Sabi ni Tess Espana, uh, Espana, Hello po, pwede po bang mag-caregiver ang isang nurse na walang one year na nag-work sa isang hospital? Pwede ba yun, Miss Mel? Dapat ang work experience is at least one year. Mm-hmm. Ayan. At least one year, no? So, yeah. Yeah. Kailangan yung apat na requirement na sinabi ko kanina for caregiver, hindi siya nag-overlap. Hindi dahil sa... Kasi yung iba naman, ang concern nila is matagal na akong caregiver, pero high school graduate ako. O pwede po ba yun? Ang sagot po, hindi. Dapat yung apat na yun, kompleto rekados na meet mo pag nag-apply ka ng caregiver pathway. Alright. Thank you, Ms. Mel. And of course, we have also good choice, CEO. CISO. Good AM, meron po bang age limit sa pag-apply ng PR? Meron bang age limit, Ms. Mel? Ang good news is wala, pero merong epekto ang um, age when it comes sa express entry. Dahil kapag ikaw ay nag-reach ng 45 years old, then hindi ka na pwede mag-claim ng score against sa age. Nandala ko yung camera ko. Sabi gano'n, bakit na wala? Anyway, mo. <laughs> Pero yung, sabi, hindi ko narinig eh. nag yung aking internet. Sabi gano'n, no? <laughs> Ayan. Um, sorry, nawala po ako. Na, napa, napadown ko yung mga question agad. So, yan. Sana tayo. Na kay Michael. Sorry. Ayan. Good day from Sis Republic. Ask ko lang po kung pwede kung di declare sa CV yung mga previous employer ko sa abroad kasi wala po akong certificate of employment dahil nag-resign po ako. If no po ang sagot, is there any other way na pwede kong gawin PR ma-approve sa immigration na kapag work ako sa abroad? Salamat po and God bless. Ito yung mga pwedeng maging cause of misrepresentation. So anything na nangyari at hindi mo dinikbear ng tama, pwede kang habulin ng immigration at pwede ka nilang kasuhan for misrepresentation. Ayan. Thank you, Ms. Mel. So the key again then is maging honest tayo with your applications. And Charis, Charis Maliknas, thank you. By the way, it's a big help po. God bless. Maraming salamat po. Mga ka- yeah. Mga ka, please share this video as well, dear friends, because sharing is caring. And of course, engage. Post your comment on the live stream. Babasahin namin, sasagutin namin. And if you engage, you have the chance to win a one-on-one consultation with Ms. Mel. And of course, it will flash for later on ang aming schedule na webinar about express entry. So if you want to learn about express entry, join our webinar. It will be on June 1, 9 a.m. Manila time. How to join? I'm going to post the link on the comment section. Ayan. Miss Mel, uh, Perly Balile. Sir Cap and Miss Mel, ang saya naman dito. First time namin ng BF ko si Harold's Dennis. Nakaka-excite. Ayan. Thank you. Ayan. Kita-kits tayo dito sa Canada. Flora Bell uh, Manalo, good morning. Affected po ba yung start ng schooling for international students in Canada because of COVID? Well, and, uh, <laughs> Excited lang. <laughs> May lahat nga ako eh, kailan mo madali. Tumigil lang kasi hinabal ko yung hinig ako. Sige, Miss Mel. Sige, tapusin mo na nga. <laughs> I have a letter of acceptance for September intake but I had a hard time in applying for student visa here in the Philippines at this time. Can I move my September intake to January next year? It's actually a good idea na i-defer na kagad yung kanyang intake for January since few months left na lang magse-September na. Ang bilis no, kalain mo yun. Grabe, bilis na. <laughs> bilis talaga ng, ng, ng panahon. Napakabilis. Pero kung halimbawa, nagkaroon ka na ng student visa kasi ngayon, 
um, naglabas na kasi ang mga school na diretso pa rin sila pero pe, may option kayo mag-online schooling. So kung meron ka na sanang visa, pwede ka naman na kagad na mag-enroll kagad at mag-start ka muna ng online. And then kapag ka nawala na si COVID, pag talagang totally bye-bye to COVID na tayong lahat, di pumasok ka na ng Canada. So sana, sana mababay COVID na para ano na, tuloy-tuloy na. Bye. Sabi ng anak ko, the COVID will gonna go with the UFO. So sana nga. <laughs> sana, walang imposible, no? <laughs> Ayan, nakakatuwa Miss Mel ang ating uh, ruleta kasi ang daming pangalan. It means madaming nagjo-join. Yes, thank you, thank you po sa inyong lahat. So we have also Pearl, uh, Pearly, ang daming mga informations. Ayan. Sa Q&A pa lang yan, pag nag-attend po kayo ng webinar, ay nako, mas maraming information. Ayan, sa mga, sa mga nag-attend ng webinar... Ay, nagsawa sila sa akin eh. <laughs> Dala yun mismo lang ano ng bagong ligo. Kaya talagang ginaganahan sila ang magtanong. <laughs> Ganun yun eh. Sabi, sabi ligo, ligo, ligo din tayo. Sabi ka <laughs> Ayan, Arnel Ariola Hi po, tanong ko lang po, gaano katagal po yung, yung offer of employment number and compliance fee from employer guiding sa employer? May possibly po bang mag-back out yung employer under EITB po? Kung gano'n siya katagal, dati mabilis lang eh. Within two weeks, kaya ng employer na makakuha kagad ng endorsement eh. At bayaran yung fees. Mabilis lang naman magbayad as long as nakuha mo na yung, ano, yung endorsement. Yung compliance fee, pwede bayaran yan in a matter of 5 to 10 minutes eh. Kung meron possible na mag-back out yung employer, yes, meron po. Meron din naman chance na pwede silang ituloy yung endorsement pero pwede nilang ipangalan sa iba. So that's also an option for the employer. Always remember, ang EDMIA, ang endorsement, pag-aari yan ng employer, hindi ng employee. Okay. So malaki, malaki pa rin yung chances yeah. kapag nagbago ang isip ng employer pwede mo wala sa'yo yung chances. Itangan so, na kapit lang. Kapit lang sa employer. <laughs> it is very true, Miss Mel. No? Pag meron ka ng employer, huwag ka mag masyadong kampante. Get connected, keep in touch, try to commit, build a relationship. Lagi mo na girlfriend. <laughs> may joke lang. <laughs> no? <laughs> build a relationship. Like, syempre may tiwala, ganun. Um, kasi sabi nga, sabi mo ang Miss Mel, dapat sigurista kita. Diba? So, mag-assume ka lang kapag meron ka ng hawak na papel at nandito ka na sa Canada. Habang wala pa, maraming pa pwedeng mangyari. Correct. This is a very good question, Arnel, at least. And of course, sabi ni Jeremy Mendoza, big shout out to you. Prayer, prayer saka push lang, push lang. Push lang, Cap, and prayer. Sa manong dasal. Hi, Cap. Joey, Miss Mel. It's possible CR score as low as 250 na invite sa Nova Scotia PNP na panood ko sa isang Filipino vlogger sa Toronto. Yung... Kasi ang nangyari kasi dyan is lahat doon nasa express entry, right? Mm -hmm. Tapos kumuha ang provincial nominee program. Mm -hmm. So, depende yan kung ano yung kailangan nila na position. Mm -hmm same time kung gaano kadami yung mga nag-apply. Yung low ng 250, medyo malabo siya dahil medyo mataas yung scoring ngayon. Pero de, kung halimbawa very unique yung position at kukunti lang yung nag-apply doon, then possible naman na yung 250 ay eh, maging lowest score. Mm -hmm. So bali, ang ano nun, Miss Mel, is yung mga, kasi yung Nova Scotia is na kumuha ng mga RN. Yes. Mga nurses, yes. sa listaha, yung mga nag-sign, gumawa ng profile sa express entry. Yes. Doon sila kumuha ng, ng mga, nag-pull, nag-pull ng mga applicants doon sa express entry. So, doon Miss Mel, sa, sa senaryong ganun, do you think it's advisable, Miss Mel, for everyone to create a profile, express entry, profile? Ma-advise nyo ba yun? Kung meron ka naman na lahat ng mga documents, then might as well, i mo na. 
Kasi kesa nakatenggas lang yan sa bahay mo, at least matanggap o hindi, which is yun naman talaga yung idea mo, is mak- makapag-apply ng permanent resident, eh di i-dutch mo na nga lang, di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero Miss Mel, may score na yung kailangan, di ba? Ang nangyayari kasi niyan, ang express entry kasi, hindi naman, ang ibig sabihin ng score na lumalabas, yun yung minimum eh. Yun yung pinakamababang scoring na ganito yan eh. So halimbawa, etong araw na to, sasabihin ni government na magkakaroon tayo ng raffle or magdodraw tayo. Ang kailangan kong, um, ang ibibigay kong invitation is 1,000. So si system, magrarantro yan mula dun sa pinakamataas na score hanggang kay 1,000. Kung ano yung score ni 1,000, yun yung lowest score na lumalabas. May ano yan eh, may deal breaker yan eh. Paano kung dalawa kayong 1,000 ang, ang nando sa pinaka 1,000, parehas kayo ng score? Ano yung unang makakakuha sa inyo na invitation to apply? Ang sagot lang doon is, kung nauna siyang mag ng profile, then sa kanya yun. One minute, one minute na nauna sa iyo. Okay. Or seconds, di ba? But anyway, yun, yun. It, it, this is a very good advice. And I think uh, mas maganda ito pag-usapan to sa ating webinar. So if you're interested to learn about uh, Express Entry, I strongly suggest to join us on our June 1 Express Entry with Miss Mel. Kasi pag-uusapan natin yun doon. And it's free, mga cops. So you don't need to worry. It's a free, it's a webinar, and you will learn a lot. And may specific na topic, ano? Kasi pag Q&A, mga questions lang dito, no? So, but on the webinar, we will discuss a specific topic, specific, which is express entry on June 1. Uh, Perli, Mamel, need po ba ng NBI or police clearance dito sa Japan if mag-apply sa Canada? Yes po. Lahat po ng pansang pinuntahan mo in the last six months, maghihingi na po sila ng police clearance. Yeah, thank you, Miss Mel. I don't have... na halimbawa, wala pa kayong application ngayon sa Canada. Tapos, since nasa Japan kayo ngayon, kukuha na kayo ng mga police clearance, I strongly discourage na gawin nyo yan kasi may expiration date ang mga police clearance. Ayan. So, and we have June Agude. Good morning from Sis Republic. Ask ko lang po, pwede po bang i-receive yung previous... Oh, sorry, nagbasa ko na to. Uh, I got a service agreement from last time po, ma'am. I would like to say it's a reasonable price. Hindi ko lang ma-permanent kasi wala po akong ayos. Once na-complete ng requirements ko, I will sign it. Thanks, Ms. Mel Cap. Ako kasi sa mga gustong kumuha ng services namin, I strongly suggest na kunin nyo kami kahit wala pa kayong nauumpisahan. Kasi yung mga IELTS, i-discuss po na- natin yan kung kailan mo dapat kunin para hindi masayang. Mm-hmm. Correct. Sabi nga, strategy. And one of the advantage of hiring an immigration consultant is Ms. Mel will give you a strategy or a plan. And this is, ikot ko lang yung Ms. Mel. And once you decide na kunin si Ms. Mel, Ms. Mel will give you, uh, will start from planning up to nakapunta ka dito sa Canada. And I think this is a very good uh, service na binibigay ni Ms. Mel. Uh, we have also May expiration ba ang NBI police clearance na sa ibang bansa currently working here in Japan? Yes po. One year lang valid ang ating police clearance. And we have Arnel. Hi, Kat, Miss Mel. Good day. Tanong ko lang po kung gaano katagal yung offer ng employment number and compliance fee. Nabasa ko na yata to. Yes. Mag-back out ang employer. And we have Ivy Damola. Hi, good AM po mga kap. Yoko na sana sari na din sa live. Yoho, sa nakasali na. Wala si madam. Ang kuha lang naka-join sa... Join na po ako sa rapper kay Joey. Ayan, hindi ko may bibigyan yung message. Pero ayan, Grace, ayan, join. Hindi po kasi si Joey kaya yung mga linggo natin na mga kabataan, di na po naiintindihan ito. Ah, ganun na lang pag may edad na eh. Yeah. Nagkakaroon ng edad. Ganun na po natin si Joey kasi ganyan talaga. <laughs> ah, 27, ganun po talaga kami mga bata. <laughs> Grace Riano, hello, good AM. Sabi ni Landy, uh, ni Alha, mas fresh pa si Miss Mel sa fresh hard shell lobster ng Nova Scotia. Grabe talaga to. Kuya, 
pag-aaralan ko na ng gusto yung lobster eh. <laughs> Kaya ko compliment ba yun o hindi. <laughs> Kasi si, may, may, hard lab, may hard shell lobster at may soft. For me, pagkain pa lang din yun. Wala akong alam kung soft yun or hard basta masarap. Ha? Akala ko nila daw ko ako ni Kuya. Ang sinasabi niya sa akin, meron daw hard shell. Yun yung kinain namin, it's a hard shell. Sabi ko, oo, kasi ginanon ko hard talaga. Bakit may soft na dito? <laughs> anyway, so napunta sa lobster yung questions natin. No? Uh, sabi ni Bochi, point system sa 40 to 50 age bracket mismo. Medyo mababa na po yan. Mm-hmm. Kasi ang 45-0 eh. So yung 40, baka mga 2 to 5 na lang na pwede mo i-clean. Yeah. However, pwede sa ibang program is smell, right? Yes. Yeah. Pwede sa ibang program. Kaya wala, wag po kayong mawalan ng pag-asa. So may mga iba pang program. Pag-asa. <laughs> wag kayong mawalan ng pag-asa. Yun talaga yung naisip ko sa bihin. Wala akong ma-comment dun eh. <laughs> Sabi ka. <laughs> Ayan, sabi ni Cherry Ramoso, hi Cap and Ismail, may chance po ba ang NOC 2282 sa AIPP pathway thanks in advance? First of all, kailangan muna nating isipin, alamin kung ano yung 2282. Ayan. Let's memorize ang NOC. IV Dumalog, you got this, sabi niya. And hello Cap, join me watching from Macau. Keep safe po at mabuhay kayo. Maraming salamat po. Ah, alam ko na ako ano yung 2282. 2282 is user support technician. May possibility naman. Medyo mahirap nga lang makakuha ng employer. Pero meron. Ayun. Magandang balita pala to mismo. And of course, we have also Maricel Botardo. Hello uh, hello po, Cap Joy Mismo. Watching from Macau. Keep safe po at mabuhay po kayo. Inulit ko lang pala to. <laughs> Grace Riano, Cap Joy Miss Mel, ask ko lang po if ang student visa ako and open work permit ang husband ko if for ex nag-work, nag, nagka-work siya sa designated company under AIP, pwede po ba mag-apply ng TR and not me? Actually, possible siya as long as yung designated employer mo or a designated employer ng husband mo is makapagbigay ng endorsement. Ayun. So, ibig sabihin, Ms. Mel, yung principal is a student, si Open Work Permit si Hasban, nagkataon na kahanap siya ng employer under AIPP. Nauna to, si spouse, ay si spouse, si Hasban, na maging PR. Possible yun, Ms. Mel? Oo. O, yun. Parang yung magawa nun, actually, yun yung advantage minsan na nag student sila kahit na mahal. Tapos, mm-hmm tamang mga spouse. Kasi kapag um, ganun yung sitwasyon, nagkakaroon kasi sila ng interaction sa employer na nandito sa loob na ng Canada. Eh. And mm-hmm. then, kahit na mahirap kunin ang mga LMIA endorsement, kapag ka nakikita ka na ng personal ng employer, kahit gano'n yan kahirap tumutulong sila. That's true. And at the same time, sabi ko nga, sa student, kung titingnan mo talaga na may as- kasama mo yung anak mo, kasama mo yung asawa mo, ang nagkakaroon ka ng dalawang chance eh. Nag-aaral ka, after mo may chance ka sa open work permit, pero yung husband mo dapat nagsisipag na din siya maghanap ng employer. Napakagandang strategy yun, no? yung EIPP. So yun, take note niyo yung mga cap. If you're thinking oh, about... Maganda rin na alam mo rin bago ka makarating ng Canada, alam mo rin yung mga option nyo. Yes. And... Hindi, oh, sige, wala lang. <laughs> Hindi na... Pero ito yun, Miss Mel estudyante or international student, it means siya lang ang pwedeng gumawa ng paraan para makapag-permanent resident kayo. Mm-hmm. And it's very important to have a plan. Malay mo, AIPP, iniisip mo mag-AIPP program, pagdating ninyo, ninyo dito sa Canada, nasa isip nyo AIPP, pero yung asawa mo pala, hindi na mapasok sa AIPP requirements. So you need talaga to strategize. And sabi ko nga, you cannot create an effective strategy kung kulang yung informations nyo. Exactly. So, yun. Yeah. And we are here for you. Yep. We got you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, every Saturday, 11 a.m., we have our, our Q&A questions. And then, of course, we have a free webinar with Ms. Mel. And, of course, if you want to have a consultation, one-on-one consultation, 
you can book an appointment with Miss Mel. It's very easy. Just go to the website or connect with her on Facebook. And Lenny, uh, Lenny, Lenny. Hi, Cap Joey, Miss Mel. Ask ko lang po, si man po ang husband ko. May opportunity po kaya sa Canada magkaroon ng work-related po, work experience niya or kaya sa maritime industry po, EIPP po. Possible naman, medyo mahirap lang maghanap ng employer. Hindi ko lang din alam kung meron ba talagang maritime company dito sa loob ng Canada. Ayan. Thank you, Miss Ma'am. And we have also Masiu, Masiu, Emma, Senior. Watch here for, uh, from Cebu. Miss Mel, if may gusto pong mag-apply diya, nakakilala ko, pwede kong i-refer sa company ninyo? Pwede, pwede po. Joel Aragon Lindio, ask ko lang ulit kay Miss Mel, after I finished six years work in Taiwan, then almost one year na po ako nakasay sa Philippines, kailangan po bang kumuha ng police clearance sa Taiwan or dito na lang sa Pilipinas? Kailangan mo mag-provide ng Taiwan at saka ng Pilipinas. Ayun. Thank you, Miss Mel. We have Rowell Corriado. Mas okay po bang mag-student sa Atlantic region? Mas maliit po ba ang magagastos? Actually, depende yan eh. Depende yan sa inyo. Um, yung maliit ang gastos, kahit pa paano, it's something na pwede nyong kontrolin eh. Correct. And of course, the cost of living is always depends on the family and to the person kasi iba-iba ang gastos ni Juan at sa gastos ni Pedro. Di ba? Kagaya ko po. Hindi pwede walang bigas sa bahay. <laughs> <laughs> so may natawa ko na. Right is life, no? <laughs> Mainis po ang ulo ko kapag nagutom. <laughs> Sabi ganun, no? Sabi, wala nang bigas. Ay, hindi pwede. Lalabas tayo. <laughs> Kasi po, alas 12 ng ating gabi, pag walang bigas, may bigas sa kapit bahay. <laughs> pero, pero on the bright side, rice is life. Napakamahal din ng bigas dito sa Canada. Um, how much ba sa inyo? $20 per 8 kilos? Parang pagka nagsisail minsan na umaabot lang siya ng 12. mga 12. Oo, ganun sa amin din eh. Kaya po mga kap, matuto, matuto ka po dito kumain ng lettuce. Mas mura sa kapatatas. <laughs> Mas mura. Pero sabi ni Ferman, <laughs> ha? Mas mura ba? O oh, $5 yung isang ganun na ano ng patatas. Pero hindi po ako makain. Rice is life po tayo. Proud Pinoy. Hindi po kulang ang kulang na kulang ang ating araw kung walang bigas. So shout out po sa mga rice is like that. Pero sabi ni Ferman uh, John Cole, uh, come, uh, cap, good AM po sa inyo. Ayan, uh, si Ferman also support uh, his channel also starting to share buhay dito sa When in Halifax. Sabi ni Grayson Kitchen, hello cap and ma'am Amelia. Ay, ma nabasa na natin to. Uh, hello, ask ko lang po requirements for caregiver applicant and their spouse and children. Thank you po. Ang una magde-requirement is ikaw as primary applicant. So dapat ma-meet mo yung apat na requirements, IELTS, um, ECA, job offer, at saka experience. Once na ma-meet mo yun, automatic kasama naman ang spouse at mga anak mo. Ayan, yun. Kagandahan dito mismo yung mga anak ay libre na rin pag-aaral. Nag-iisip ako kasi minsan nagkaroon ng consultation, asabi ko, mga asawa, isa lang po ang pwede yung isama. <laughs> okay pa dito, Kimis. Lahat ng asawa pwede kasama. <laughs> Nag Nagka-bookingan tuloy na. Tapos eh. Tapos <laughs> <laughs> Ang maganda ng Miss Mel, natuloy-tuloy mo na, pakisabit na din yung mga application ng asawa, mga asawa. <laughs> Ayan, sabi ni Max Cardenas, I'm watching from Manila, Philippines. Tanungin ko lang po yung experience ko kasi nag-home care provider happened before ako mag-graduate na sa TESDA. May bearing po ba yun? Then yung employer ko kasi is hindi niya nahuhulugan yung SS ko. Possible mo bang ma-incomplete niya yung hulog? Regarding with the SS, another proof kasi yan na talagang legit yung employment mo. So, kung meron ka naman other forms ng evidence na talagang pinabayaran ka, talagang paid yan, then that will be fine. Hmm. 
experience before TESDA, that's totally acceptable po. Remember, ang TESDA o NC2, hindi po requirement yan ng Canada. Requirement po yan ng POEA para mag-release sila ng OAC. Ayan. Thank you, Ms. Mel. And of course, sabi ni Jera Almieda. Hi, Ms. Cap jo Ms. Mel and Cap Joey. Mo uh, working permit po under Lanilla LMIA and OC 0631. Need po ba ng English exam? Salamat for po. For permanent resident? Or for working permit? Kung working okay. permit, no need po. For kung permanent resident, yes. Ayan. So wala kang takas sa language test. Ayan. I wanna be. Hi, thank you po, Miss Mel and Cap Joey, sa pagsagot. Follow-up question lang po. How many years of experience will require for night auditor to be eligible? Thank you po ulit. At least one year. Ayan. Thank you, Miss Mel. We have also Katika uh, Tunay, Cap Joey, and Mom Mel. Pwede po bang mag-apply through express entry kahit 40 years old na? Thank you. Pwede naman po. Kaso... Kaso, tignan nyo po muna mabuti kung nami-meet nyo yung score. Kasi mm -hmm. kung hindi nyo nami-meet yung score, then matitenga lang yung profile nyo kasama kung madami. Actually, kung ano ba yung nasa, nasa, ano ngayon, nasa profiling, parang 6,000 yung nakatenga. 6,000 mm -hmm. 16,000, parang mga ganun. Mm -hmm. So yun. Pero ang ano lang dun is, I think, pwede, kung tanong mo is kung pwede, Pwede, pero we strongly suggest to explore other programs kasi baka may opportunity ka doon, di ba? And yeah. we have also Paolo Bisda. Hi, Cap and uh, Cap Joey, Miss Mel. Ask ko lang po if nag if ang previous work experience in the Philippines is NOCB. Here in Ontario, you had six months of NOCC, job experience as machine operator. If applying... Applying ng job as in OCC at Atlantic, dapat po as machine operator din para makabuo ng one-year experience then apply sa Atlantic Intermediate Skill Program? Yes. Yes ang sagot. <laughs> yes ang sagot. <laughs> Ayan. So, kailangan niya talagang tuloy-tuloy din, di ba? Dapat machine operator para mabuo yung one-year. Yes. Pero kung halimbawa, kasi... Kung same din naman ang posisyon, yung meron siyang previous application, basta nabigyan siya ng endorsement, pwede siya mag-apply ng AAPT. Yan. Thank you, Paolo Bista. Flora, Foravel, Manalo, hi, may re required IELTS bang score if, uh, score po ba if under student direct stream? Six po ang required na score. At least six in each category. Thank you, Ms. Mel. JJ Lapidario, hello mom and sir watching from Italy, avid followers here, ayan. Thank you po. Maraming maraming salamat po. And of course, we have Rose Perez, kahit po college undergrad, pwedeng isubmit sa West? God bless from you. strongly discourage kung undergrad ka at isasubmit siya sa West. Mm -hmm. uh, Pamit ka na lang ng ibang assessing body. Ayan. We have also Maria Rosales. Magandang araw po sa inyo, Ma'am Meling Sir Cap. Magtanong lang po, paano po process para makuha, makuha ang anak ng isang PR na pero yung anak na may edad ng 24 26? Kailangan na pong makapunta nung 24 and 26 years old on their own sa Canada. So kailangan mag-qualify na rin sila sa sa iba't iba or kahit basta isang immigration stream ng Canada po. So they can do express entry kung kung kaya naman na or other stream student kung hindi pa kaya. Yeah, thank you Miss Mel. We have also sabi ni Pearly. Wow, thanks po sa information Miss Mel. Thank you po. Bien Anthony, hello Sir Madam watching from New Zealand. Kasi ni uh, sabi ni Kashiret Amanda Hello po. Ano po kayang work experience na pwede for caregiver pathway? Thank you for, for answering. Dapat yung talagang ginagawa ng caregiver dito, yun dapat din yung work experience mo kung nasaan ka man. Ayan. Sabi ni Ferman, shared to nursing groups. Ayan, with the letter S. Maraming maraming salamat because sharing is caring. We have also Robert 
Thank you po sa pagbasa ng comment ko, Cap, and to your response, Miss Mel. Anyway, graduate po ako ng education at 10 years, nagturo, then 2007 when I decided to work overseas. Please help me which program is the best for me because it's my dream to work in Canada. I strongly suggest to contact me directly through our website para po makuha namin yung iyong resume at para masagutan nyo or masagutan nyo yung assessment namin. Mm -hmm. That's the easiest way po. Um, we have also test Espana. Espan, tama ba, Espanya? Hi, uh, hi po, pwede po mag-apply ng isang nurse ng caregiver kung ikaw ay 32 years old tapos wala siyang one year nag-work sa hospital. Pwede ba yun, Miss Mel? Possible naman kasi hindi naman dahil sa hindi ka nakapag-work sa hospital, it means hindi ka na pwede. Kasi marami naman iba't ibang klase ng setting para mamit mo yung responsibility ng caregiver dito. Correct. Ayan. Thank you, Miss Mel. And we have also Jenny Auto Fashion, how to apply nurse without experience. Paano ba, Miss Mel? Walang experience. I suggest na bumalik ka muna doon sa profession na as a nurse kung ayaan yung gagamitin mong pathway para makapasok ng Canada. Hindi enough na nakapag-aral ka ng nurse at naging RN ka, pero never mo siyang ginamit. Tapos yun yung gagamitin mong pathway para maging permanent resident dito. Yes. Balik na lang ng one-year experience. Marami dyan. Kaya-kaya yan. And we have also Ivy Dumaulaw. Question po, ano po ba ang totoo? Need po ba talaga ang at least one year paid experience for caregiver pathway or pwedeng training lang po ba? As much as possible, it should be work experience. Mm -hmm. Medyo confusing lang kasi yung wording na ginamit ng immigration kasi ang nakasulat doon is OR. So, laging babagsak siya sa discretion ni officer kung ano kung paano niya i-assess yung application. Actually, merong maraming nagkumakalat na mga vlogs and videos na no work experience na yung caregiver. Pero always think about perspective ng, uh, ng immigration officers. Actually, may comment ako doon. Kasi mm -hmm. una sa lahat, yung bagong program ngayon is bago siya. Wala pang nakakarating ng Canada because of the new pathway. Mm -hmm. So, kung gusto mo ng higher chance of approval, then might as well get one year paid work experience. Correct. So, syempre, gusto ko natin, sabi nga, natin ni, Ms., sabi nga ni Ms. Med, dapat sigurado. Yes. So, to be sure to achieve your Canadian dream, you should have an advantage. Yes. Diba? Kung sa gera, dapat handang-handa ka. And one way to be handang-handa is work experience. Walang mabilis na paraan eh. Talagang dadaan ka sa kabutas ng karayom. Pero once nalusutan mo yon life is so good. Yeah, no? Yes. Actually, wala rin naman na ngayon na mga bansa na automatic pwede ka nang pumunta kagad nang wala ka man lang experience. Correct. Karamihan din naman parang katulad din natin dito sa Canada. Yes. And we have also, thank you Ms. Ma, we have also IV. Ah, sorry, we have also Pearly, currently working here in Japan as caregiver under ng home care facility po, ma'am. Yes, po pwede. Possible. Pasok yun, no? Ano, malaki yung chance. Makakuha ka lang na employer, namit mo lang yung English exam at saka yung education. Pasok ang requirements. Pasok ang, ang experience mo. Ayun. Ayun, message me smell at adjocinternational.ca. Uh, mayroon yung chat box, live chat box. Si Miss Mel po mismo nag, nag, uh, makakausap you through the live chat box or use the free assessment tool or you can message Miss Mel on their website, uh, Facebook page, Adjok International. We have also Anthony Talisic. Yes, masarap ang love, sir. Kaya papasyal kami dyan, Cap Joey, ha? For sure. Sama mo ko, ha? Huwag mo kayo. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, picture na lang sa iyo, Miss Mel. Ay, grabe. <laughs> so, Ayan. Naman yun. <laughs> Sabi ni Fairman John Colin, uh, please share sa, sa mga kwapa nurses natin, pati sa ibang nurses group, yes, totoo po yun because sharing is caring and at the same time sa lahat ng mga nurses, this is the best platform, plat, uh, platform para po uh, matuto tayo ng mga opportunities, immigration opportunities dito sa Canada. 
What's up, Cop and Miss Mel? May idea po kayo. Kailangan ulit sila mag-draw ng FSW. Salamat po. FSW, more than one month na silang hindi nag-draw. One month, one two months. Mm -hmm. so, wala po akong idea. Sila lang ang nakakaalam. <laughs> Ganun na. Sila lang rin naman talaga nakakaalam. Wala naman sila talagang schedule na ilalabas in public na sasabihin nila, eto araw na to mag, mag Dodraw tayo ng ganito. Before, there's a pattern, right? 2006-2007, then there's a pattern eh. Pero yes. ngayon, parang... Wala. Oo, oh, lilitaw na lang eh. Oo, oh, nagdaw na. Tama lang sa pattern nila ngayon, ang kinukuha nila is PMP at saka CEC. Yeah. The, the key for that is dapat talaga handang-handa ka. And strategy. That's the key word. Strategize. You need to have a strategy. Maricel Butard Butardo... To Ma'am Mel, ask ko lang po, wala akong credit card para makapag-point. Pwede po bang money grab? Kasi close po ang Western dito sa Macau and Sunday. Thanks po sa reply. Pwede naman po. I-message na lang po kami sa page para makuha niyo po yung details. Ayan. Thank you, Ma'am Marizel. We have also been Trinidad, High Cup, Joey, and Ma'am Mel. Factory worker po ako sa Taiwan and CNC operator. Ano pong pathway na pwede ma-applyan? Maraming thanks po. Pwede po under no working permit, pero kailangan nyo po ng employer na magsusupport ka sa inyong application para mag-proceed. Ayan, maraming salamat. We have also Martili follow-up question. If papa-evaluate po kami sa isang, sa ibang assessor, magkaka-conflict po ba ang ibang result? Kasi if sa West po, di ba after evaluation, sinised na nila sa IRCC? This is a very good question. Miss Mel, nag-West tapos nag-I-West. Pwede ay I-Cast. Pwede ba yun? Actually, option mo lagi kung ipapasend mo sa IRCC yung result o ikaw ang makakakuha ng result. Hindi mm -hmm. siya mandatory na isi-send ng West sa IRCC. Kaya nila sinisend kasi yun yung instruction mo. Mm -hmm. so, kung wala ka naman application on process, then definitely nakatenga lang din yan kay IRCC. So, kung ako ang tatanungin at wala ka pa naman talagang ibang application at ang, ang gagawin mo lang naman is gusto mong makakuha ng most points sa iyong education, then do the other um, assessment. And thank you, Ms. Man. We have also John Copon. Hello po, which is better to apply, CCA or LVN? If... You're a licensed nurse in the Philippines. Thank you so much. And some suggestion pathway so much. I think sinagot to ni Ferman. Sabi ni si Ferman, CCA, muna, LVN, kailangan po mag-process ng ENAS. Pwede ka naman mag-start dyan sa Pilipinas. Ayan. Thank you, Ferman. Ferman is also a nurse here in, in Nova Scotia po. So, yun. We have also, uh, IV, hello po. Paano po mag-write way to submit the documents sa West? TOR diploma ba ang isa submit? Or TOR lang? Just TOR. Ayan. So maraming mga question, Miss Mel. Uh, mukhang hindi natin namalay ng oras. It's almost one and a half hours. Uh, Magro-draw muna tayo at bago tayo magkalimutan ng mga nanalo ng ating uh, mga nag-engage sa ating page. Ayan. So eto lahat mga kap yung aking nailista. So kung wala po yung inyong pangalan, pasensya muna po. At uh, I'm going to try my best na lahat na i-copy dito. But anyway, these are the cups natin nag-join sa YouTube channel, mga nag-join sa watch party natin, nag-join sa ating Facebook. Maraming maraming salamat ito mga cup. Ayan, mag-draw muna tayo mga cup. Then we will try to answer some questions. Kung hindi kayo inabot, na, na, na hindi namin maisagot uh, because of the time constraint, um, okay lang yan kasi meron pa tayong Saturday. 11 a.m. next next week. Ang sino kaya ang maswerteng nanalo ng ating one-on-one -on -one consultation with Miss Mel? Ayan. Yay! Ray Anthony Lingao, you are the winner for today's Saturday for today Saturday. For tonight, Q&A question. Ayan, pinicturan ko para... Usap na kami noong kahapon. Oh. <laughs> ang, ta ang tagal ko pa inisipin noong kahapon. 
Pero alam mo, meron siya mga follow-up. So, once na okay na yung plano mo, Kuya Ray, then gamitin mo yan para at least mapag-usapan natin yung susunod mong mag, uh, gagawin. Ayun, congratulations, Ray. You are the lucky winner ng one-on-one consultation since nakasap pa na si Miss Mel. Meron ka pa din rain check or voucher pa rin kay Miss Mel. Ayan. Yes. Ayan. Maraming maraming salamat. Ayan. Uh, kaya pa ba, Miss Mel? Two yes. or two more questions? Ayan. Nag-draw, nag-draw na po tayo kasi may mga live stream po nakakalimutan ko. Ispin yung roulette. <laughs> Sorry, ganun na. <laughs> Sabi ni... Pero <laughs> last week, hindi ko pa siya nakausap. Si, ano, si Kathleen Tad-Tad. Uh, shout out po sa inyo. Hinahanap ko po namin. Uh, siya po yung nanalo last week. Hindi po siya nag-connect sa atin at hindi po nagbigay oh. ng email. Oh. Kasi inaantay ko rin yung email. <laughs> oh, inintay mo, inintay mo from sa akin, di ba? Wala sa akin nag-message. So, yun. So, ayan mga kap. And again, of course, uh, yan, bago natin tayo magkakalimutan, ipa-flash ko lang yung ating free webinar express entry. Again, it's very easy to join. I'll post the link on the comment section on the YouTube and on the Facebook as well. So, ayan mga kap. Um, we will try to answer. Mabilisan na lang to, ha. Maricel, ma'am. Uh... Okay na yan. Okay na din yan. Okay. Hi, Cap. Miss, may chance po ba ng NOC 22, AIP, Pitens, and Advance, and God bless. Pasali po sa Roleta, Cap. Possible naman, basta meron ka employer. Ayan. Uh, Romel, may chance po ba ang 402 points na walang, wal, na walang PNP? Ang kinukuha nila ngayon is PNP at saka CEC. Mm-hmm. Ayan. So, of course, we have, ano po ang requirements ng spouse and children if main applicant is caregiver program Ano ang ipiprepare nila? Uh, just passport and then yung sa spouse is police clearance. And we have also, Charisan po makikita yung task ng caregiver as a child support, Miss Mel. Meron siya doon sa job bank at meron din yung bawat um, posting ng employer. Ayan. And of course, we have good evening. Sabi ni Angelo, good evening po. Madali po makahanap ng bahay sa Nova Scotia. Bahay and apartment, yes po, napakadali. KGG. If if you're coming here in Halifax, connect with Settle East Coast Facebook group. Just type on Facebook, Settle East Coast. Hello po, Cap Joey, Miss Mel. Kumusta ngay- ngayon lang po ako nakabalik watch ng live stream nyo. Tanong ko lang kung may chance kaya ma-approve ang application ko as open work permit. Four months na po walang result. Monthly nag-e-email naman ang IRCC na nag-process pa, pa rin ang application. Ano kayong magandang gawin? Salamat po in more power. Ito yung sitwasyon na talagang patience is a virtue. So, wala po tayo magagawa kung hindi mag-antay kung kailan po nila i-re-release. Yeah, May have... naman po talaga ngayon. Correct. Because of the COVID. Aileen, yes. Raymond, Simbulan, Miss Mel, Cap Joey, ask ko lang po, paano po mal- malegit check ang isang consultant company from Canada po? Meron pong website, um, it's ICCRC, tapos tignan nyo lang po yung find the professional. Ayan, thank you, Miss Mel. Miss Mel, pala ang question na po saan makikita yung task. Uh, Hi, Cap, Miss Mel, consider po ba na paid work experience kapag sa lolo at lola mo mismo ka na sa trabaho para sa caregiver? Ang unang tanong dyan is binabayaran ka ba ni lola at ni lolo para alagaan sila? Kung ang sagot is yes, then considered siya as paid work experience. And we have also Joy, uh, Jay. Thank you, Mamel and Cap Joey. Ingat po kayo dyan. We have follow-up question po. Pwede po ba mag-check yung task ng CG? 90% task, ayun na yun. Uh, mag-check na lang doon sa job offer. And at the same time, pwede niyang i-check doon sa NOC niya. Di, di ba, Miss Mel? Yes. And Modesto Takda, hello po. It's possible magagamit sa PR application ng IELTS na binibili like sa FB post. Yan ang wag na wag nyong gagawin, ang bibili ng IELTS. Mapapahamak po kayo dyan yung mga nakikik... Actually, gusto ko lang po i-highlight na kapag ka meron po kayo makitang ganyan sa group na nagpo-post, i-report nyo po sa mga admin para po mabura namin. Kasi um, scam po yan. So, kung ikaw, eh, gagawin mo yan, 
at ikaw ay mahuli, kahit na citizen ka na ng Canada by the time na mahuli ka, mapapauwi ka po, makakasuhan ka pa. Yes. Kaya, huwag yes. nyo pong i-entertain yung mga ganyang klase. It's a fraud. Yes. And pag ikaw kumagat, hindi ka biktima. Kasag kasama ka po doon kasi pinatulan mo. So at the same time, sabi ko nga, knowledge is power. So kami, sinishare namin yung information, ano yung mga tamang gawin. If ever, just in case, sa group namin, sa Pinoy Canada Immigration Forum, may nakalusot, please report to us para madilit namin and hindi namin siya tinotolerate. At the same time, sabi ko nga, walang madali. Patient is a virtue. Ayan mga kap, I just want to share yung tanong, paano mag-check yung or verify yung licensed immigration consultant, just visit the ICCRC and find professional. Ito po yung website nila. So, i-flash ko lang habang nagpa-flash tayo ng mga questions. Oliver Pladio, Cap, uh, hi, Cap Joey Mamel, Marriott Udan. Ma, meron po akong job offer adult care, but working here in UEE as child care. Pwede ba yun, Miss Mel? Hindi. <laughs> Sorry. Nawa <laughs> lang. Sorry. <laughs> Nasabit pa ako kasi nagdumino ako. Maliit kasi yung screen eh, kaya hindi ko na tinanggal yung camera. <laughs> Sa group photo na hindi kasi magkaiba yung job responsibility ng bata at saka matanda. <laughs> Medyo excited ako, hindi. <laughs> Parang ng ano, ano, ay, ay, may inom pala ako. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sabi ni Tony Andre, thank you po sa sagot, follow up tanong lang, kung student pathway po ba saan po kaya may mataas na chance na PR agad, EIPP okay na to uh, kap na. Uh, sir, uh, sir kap ma'am, follow up question pag di po ba na, na fulfill ang residency obligation ko, may chance po ba ma-receive ito at paano po please help thank you po. Magkakaroon na po ng hearing Mm, ayan. So ayan, ayan, marami pa mga question pero mukhang napakadami ng mga question mga Miss Mel. Mukhang hindi kakayanin natin ng oras. But again, sa mga hindi natin nasagot, pasensya po pero don't worry mga kap. We have a Q&A every Saturday, 11 a.m. every Saturday mga kap. So the first thing is, agahan na lang po natin para nasa ibaba po yung inyong mga tanong. And of course, Join us, web, free webinar about Express Entry. Kasama niyo po ako and Ms. Mel to discuss about Express Entry. It will be June 1, 9 a.m. in the morning. Malapit na po yun. Ayan. Ms. Mel, before we close, message to our cups. Sa inyong walang sawang suporta po sa amin. So salamat din po sa kasi karamihan ng mga umaaten sa inyo every Saturday. Sila rin po yung usually nakikita namin sa webinar. So thank you, thank you po. Yes, maraming maraming salamat. And again, before we close this uh, webinar, I would like also to invite every cups natin dyan to join our new launch cup unity. It's AIPP, Student Pathway, OFW, and Caregiver. Join this group mga cup and you can be also invited kapag kayo yung priority namin i-invite kapag we have a specific topic for this group as well. Ayan mga kap, see you, see you in next Saturday. Kita-kits. Bye.